QView software training for 3D renderings, how to use the 3D tools and cut planes. One of the basic 3D tools is the thresholding render function. This tool allows you to add or remove skin and bone on the entire 3D rendering. Drag this scroll bar to the right to remove skin and reveal the bone. The view direction tool gives you snap to controls for quick rotation of the rendering to a desired orientation. For freehand rotation, the cursor must first be in this form. If not, click the rotate button on the main menu. Then you can drag the mouse in any direction to rotate the image. Next we will discuss the cut planes tool. The purpose of the cut plane is to peel away anatomy in order to view internal structures. To enable cut planes, click on the cut plane button on the main menu bar. Notice this will do two things. It will enable the Manage Cut Planes controls on the toolbar, and it will insert a cut plane. The system default is to insert a cut plane in the center of the volume from the back. However, the cut plane can now be inserted from any desired direction by clicking these buttons. For this sample, we will insert the cut plane from the front. Now, to peel away or add anatomy, first hold down the shift key, then drag the mouse up to peel away or down to add. In this next example, we have inserted the cut plane from the right side and will now peel and add anatomy. Again, we are holding down the shift key and dragging the mouse up and down. Now let's look at the Manage Cut Planes control area again. Notice that this cut plane is designated in the window. Multiple cut planes can be inserted. Or to hide a cut plane, highlight it and click Hide Cut Plane. Notice how the entire rendering now displays on screen. Click Show Cut Plane to reinsert this plane. To remove the cut plane permanently, click on the Remove Cut Plane and the entire 3D rendering will be restored.